All right, y'all. So we're gonna show you what we what we caught in deer camp this weekend while we were hunting. We we uh, did a public draw hunt. We were literally right up the hill there, and we we actually went home for a night and we came back the next day. And I walked around camp and didn't pay any attention. Uh, went hunting, came back, got some gas cans, went to get gas. He came back and caught a rattlesnake, a timber rattlesnake, right in front of our camp, right in front of our camp. And then so he, he put it in a bucket and then right after that he caught a copperhead right in camp right i mean in the tents where we were camping and then the next day we had those two in the buckets the next day we found a cottonmouth crossing the road right in camp so we put it in the bucket and we brought them all down here to these woods and we released them and so uh we're going to show you all those guys show you the footage and then do a little education on them on each snake uh, the timber rattlers the third largest um, pit viper in north america are your most common or your cottonmouth and your copperhead and we have all three here today to show you all right y'all this is um everybody contacts me on facebook wants to know what what snake is venomous and this and that well this is our your most common two of your most common uh what you see at, at, around the house all the time um if you're going to see a venomous snake this is what you're going to see this is a cottonmouth uh, you can see he's got a real fat body. He's kind of got a blunt tail, and he has this. He has this. Uh, this face. If you can get a good um side shot on his face, he's got a line, a kind of a stripe on his face, and they all have it. And that's really an indicator. And they also have like diamond scales, and it, there's really they really stand out different from your water snakes that everybody kills because they get bad rats. Here, control and bring them all in front, in the middle. This. Is a timber rattler, your cane or your cane break. You have to talk louder, dude, because the wind. You're not gonna be able to hear your video real well. The uh, the timber rattler is is uh, endangered, protected. Uh, we we caught him right in front of our tent. And we wanted to move him. The indication is the difference in a timber rattler and a diamondback is the diamond, the diamondbacks really don't have this really dark tail like this guy has. So, and he's got. Really tell they also call this guy right here about to go in the glass the grass. Huh? He's about to go in the grass. This is a copperhead. So a lot of y'all think that rat snakes are copperheads. This guy looks nothing, nothing like a rat snake. Get your <laughs> You gotta keep talking to get in like a like I'm in a it's a circus dude. It, it it is, it's a roundup for sure. They're trying to go to the grass. That's their natural thing. But look at this guys, three pit vipers. You got endangered, protected cane break, which is your um, which is your timber rattlesnake. This guy is not an adult; it's a subadult, about two and a half, three feet, and they get pretty, pretty large. Oh, there he goes, getting ag agitated. You got your copperhead right there. He's uh, mostly going to feed on locusts and mice, and then he's going to be uh, over in your your sandy area and your timber as well. You really notice these guys don't want to bite you. They're not. They're not no. striking. They're not super aggressive. I'm right in front of them, about a foot, and neither one of them are attacking me. All they, they want to do is go back to their. They want to get back to their respectable home. places. Yeah. And uh, that's all they want to do. I'm gonna show them all close. If you want to get a hold of the cameras again, I'm gonna go ahead and show, pick each one up, show their fangs, show their face up close. Anything else you want to say about the snakes? No. Just, these are the important ones. These are the ones that that you need. Instead of trying to know what every, ask me if everything is poisonous, just study these three right here, because this is what you got. These are your venomous snakes. Roll it off the head, and make sure you get behind. Just what you see, he's biting this right here. He's got his fangs deep in it. Deep in there, not letting go, like a pit bull. Oh, more, and it squirted just now. Did you see it? Mm-hmm. We're gonna go with don't handle them. That's what we're, we're gonna, gonna go, go with, with. Don't don't do this. Nobody try this. This guy is very agitated right now. He's got his fangs deep in there. He's not even letting go. So if this was my hand, like a pit bull, usually they strike and they let go. He is not he's, even letting go of this. He's in there. He's trying to eat it. Pissed. Ooh, it's just leaking. It's like just a uh, oozing venom. Yeah. Look at that. So I'm just showing you. You guys do not want to mess with these guys. This guy's very, very agitated. I want you to see. You, since he's got it like this, you can really see the white line on his face. You see the white line? That's um. That's yep. Really, just underneath the pits. Just underneath the pits. He's got this white line. Look how he's shaking his tail. Just pissed. He's flattened out. 
Oh, he just bit down again, even harder. You have to be careful because if I let go and he wants to bite down, he can go through his own mouth and hit my thumb. People have been, people have been bitten like this, like that. I want you to see his fangs. You ready? Here we go. He doesn't even want to show him. He just mm -mm. wants to bite. I'm going to show it again on here. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. All right. See how wide his mouth is? So I want you to see the eyes. See the slit in the eyes? The cat-like eyes? Notice the nose, how it goes at a, almost like a snob, comes out at a turn, and he's got the really white mouth, but never, ever get this close, okay? But I just want to show you what they look like. The bottom is going to be checkered. This guy, it's kind of, maybe he's about to shed. He's about to shed. He's in yeah, deep so shed. He's, he so when they're, no they're... vibrant colors. When they're, when they're about to shed, they have very dull colors. It's not vibrant. Uh, usually you'll see there's, there's checkers, um, and then you'll see the squares on the bottom. Here's how you release them. Here's how you let them go. You ready? Come on. Let him go. So, another really misunderstood. I'm going to go ahead and pin him. Uh, what's some? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pin him. All right. Very misunderstood snake right over here. Let him get this bite out of the way. You don't want to bite. You, like, like they really don't want to bite you. No. Like you can't even make him hardly. Don't ever do this, guys. Don't ever, 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 ever do this. Okay? We're professional idiots. So I want you to see the coloring. First of all, appreciate the snake. Does this look like anything you killed on your porch? Most likely not. Most likely it was a rat snake, and I wish we had it with us. We uh, he escaped last night. We did have it to compare it with you. It would have been a perfect comparison. But I want you to see, again, just like the cottonmouth, it has the blunt nose, almost a snobbish looking nose, the slit eyes. Can you see it? Pretty oh, yeah. Good. Both cameras? Okay. Look at his head. Very different, guys. It's going to have two little dots up here, um, and it's going to have the Hershey, mostly the Hershey look. Hershey kisses. They got different. They got banded. It's going to be just they got like, broad banded. Just like and... the cottonmouth. Just like the cottonmouth, they'll have a very fat body, but a skinny neck and a skinny tail. That's so when you grab them, grab them by the where where the the fat tail where the body meets the skinny neck right here. But I want you to see these guys. Very, very different. Checker on the bottom just like the cotton mouth. And how you release just like that. And then let's get the cane One, break. two, number three. Let's get the cane break. Try to get some good footage of these guys. They're not chase you. They, that's a myth. Even it though myth. people say they do it, they don't chase you. So get some play pictures. with them enough. We get mess with them enough that that uh. Get some pictures here, guys. Three venomous, three pit vipers, all in one area. I don't know if this will ever happen again. Three pit vipers, all in one spot. That's never happened to me before. Where literally in one day, we had three pit vipers. I feel like I'm playing with death. All in the same area. Here. So and we're bow hunting, guys. Hey, look at me for a second. See if you can see the snakes too. We're bow hunting. We're here to deer hunt. We weren't even here to snake hunt. Let me let me get uh, move around just here that way. We weren't even here to snake hunt. We're bow hunting. And this is what we get. Three venomous Ooh. snake, three pit vipers. He's he's getting mad. They're getting they're getting pretty irritated. We're not gonna hold them, guys. We're gonna release them here in a minute. Um Come on this side real quick. Well, I want, to, I want you to see their face. I'll turn them around, I guess. But we're here to deer hunt. We're bow hunting. And uh, and these guys are out. It's, it's warm. It's going to be 90s today. And three pit vipers all in one spot. This is crazy. May not ever happen again. We don't know. But it's just super amazing. I'm sto I'm just stoked, man. Cottonmouth. We got the cane break. Your rattlesnake. And then we have your... Uh, your copperhead. Best thing you can do is leave them alone, guys. They're beautiful snakes, and the best thing you can, you can do is, when, is observe them from a distance. If you feel endangered, if you feel like you're scared, call the game warden, call somebody. Um, we just moved them nicely away. We did not transport them. Literally, our camper is right up there, and all we did is move it from our tent right down here where they're safe and away from people. This one in particular is a protected species. You're not supposed to That's kill the only these. One protected. You can kill these, but I, but please don't. We're asking that you don't. Look how he's getting there, agitated. 
But this guy right here is beautiful, guys. Why would you want to kill just a beautiful rattlesnake? Look at this coloring. Look at the yellow. Look at this camouflage. He's just a gorgeous snake, man. You can really gorgeous. see that all these guys just want to leave. They're not they're not after anybody. They just want to leave. Yeah, that's all they want to do. Gorgeous snakes. All right, guys, we're releasing these guys right now. They're going, you're going the wrong way, buddy. There goes the copperhead. He's out of here. He's the first one to be gone. Free, free. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Go free. ahead. You want to go over there, bro? So three snakes. Look how camouflaged they are. Look at this right here. I mean, he's gonna go where he's. Well, that guy is extremely camouflaged. Where is he? He's right here, here, right there. That's the copperhead guy. And then yeah. here we have. Look how camouflaged those guys are. You can barely see him. Cod mouth. He's gonna go down to the. This guy wants to go the opposite direction for some reason. Oh, maybe he wants to, maybe his home, his natural home is the other way. Look at this. Uh, he's ready to go. Look at that cotton mouth. You can barely see that cotton mouth. Where's the copperhead? He's right there. There they are. The that bridge. rattlesnake. Oh, the timber rattler. Still agitated, just ready to get out of here. Copperhead's right there. He's ready to go. He's out. Three pit vipers, guys. May never happen again, all in one time. How all in one shot. Camouflage these guys are trying to move to the leaves. Three pit vipers, guys, all right here on the race to go free. This is what the cottonmouth would do for defense, mostly. They just don't want to be stepped on. But they're out of here. They're going to their homes, they're going to the woods. There they are. Go ahead, guys, go free. Copperhead, this is all their home, guys. We just moved them away from our tent, that's all. Irritated. Cottonmouth, good size cottonmouth, great size. Timber rattler, go ahead, go in the woods. Go, go on, get out of here. All of these guys literally came from just over there. that hill right there. The only there. difference is that we're in our tent, right? Yeah, right in camp. That's the only difference is that we... Two of them we're right in camp. Move them out of our tent, if you will, and just put them down here. Not supposed to mess with the timber rattler, guys. They're protected. And all they want to do is get away. Just watch them. And be careful, because it's easy to step on. I don't even know where the other snakes are right now. They pretty much disappeared. Yeah. There's one. I see one going over there. Watch out. Copperheads already. I mean, uh, Cottonmouth's. Oh, he's booking it, yeah. Right there, he's booking it. He's the first one. I don't know where that other one went. Uh, he's in there, but we're about to get out of here, so we don't have to look at it. Look at that. My first experience with a rattler, guys. And it was a beautiful timber rattler. We just awesome. turned them all loose. We, we caught them from up there by our camp. And we just turned all these guys loose. Uh, we want to do a little educational video for so you can identify your, your snakes. These are the three most important snakes, the most common snakes that we are going to have here that you're going to encounter. These are the only venomous snakes that you're going to encounter, other than the different species of rattlesnakes, but all the rattlesnakes are similar in shape. So the timber rattler is the third largest um, pit viper in North America. Um, the cottonmouth and the copperhead is probably the most common, um, especially in this area where we're at uh, just south of Dallas, Texas. So the timber rattlers, I've only seen two timbers in my whole life and just happened one of them to be right in front of his tent. I mean, two feet in front of his tent. So we, you know, most people would chop their heads off. They don't care if they're protected or nothing, but we just wanted to move him. We literally, you can see my truck. That's where they were caught. And we moved them here, down the hill, away from where people camp. And hopefully they can, they'll go on and keep living. Uh, hopefully nobody encounters them. So, so we, what we did is we came down here to the end of this road. And that's where we decided to turn them loose close to where they came from. And turn them all loose, man. Release the beast. So, so yeah, as you can see, we just decided to release all these snakes, and uh, we caught, I had a rat snake, I wish I could have kept him so I could have showed him to you and really explained the difference between a rat snake and a copperhead, because uh, there's a huge difference. They don't look anything alike, and I've had people on Facebook argue with me and argue with me that they killed them copperhead, it was five foot long, and all of this, well, it's just not, It's that's not the case. You, you killed rat snakes, or you killed um, water snakes, or something that wasn't copperhead. Um, Cottonmouths, they, they're all short and stubby snakes other than the timber rattlers. The timber rattlers can get, I mean, long. And I've seen one that was probably five foot long. And they say common is 48 inches, but it, it was pushing five foot. And it's the second or third largest pit viper in Texas. So, but anyway, we'll, um, we release them for y'all and try to do a little education so you can tell your snakes. And we'll catch y'all later.